Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. We've got some new information on the Tate Homecoming Queen vote scandal. Channel 3's Renee Beninati joining us now with those new details. Renee? What price would you pay to become Homecoming Queen? Investigators say a cantonment team is now facing felony charges for what she did to get the crown. And as we've reported, she will be tried as an adult. And now some say she's been made fun of in a school yearbook and they believe that things have just been taken too far. Open this year's Tate High School yearbook and this is what you'll see. A horse resembling the school's mascot plastered over the face of Emily Grover. She's a student arrested for allegedly rigging the homecoming queen race last October. Parents I talked to are outraged. Why you had to use a horse's rear end and put the Aggie logo upside down so the rear end is at the girl's face. To put what they put in that yearbook was wrong. The altered yearbook was made following the arrest of Grover and her mom, Laura Carroll. Carroll was an assistant principal in the Escambia County School District. Investigators say the mother-daughter duo was arrested for casting hundreds of fraudulent votes for Emily to win the 2020 homecoming queen at Tate High. Court records reveal Grover admitted to using her mother's school district account to do it. I put in a call to Escambia County School Superintendent Dr. Tim Smith. He confirms altered yearbooks were given out to students. We're recalling those yearbooks to fix that problem. How did something like this even happen? Um, well, that's a, that's a, a good question. Somebody went in and made an edit to that uh, that was shouldn't have shouldn't have happened. Dr. Smith tells me they're now looking into seeing how this happened and who's behind this. For now, the student at the center of it all has been stripped of her title and now will be tried as an adult. We uncover newly unsealed arrest reports inside incriminating statements made by both at a school district hearing about Grover's expulsion. It reveals an email written by Grover to the superintendent stated, quote, I 100% knew it was wrong and would do anything to undo it, but I had no idea this much trouble would come from this. The documents also state the mother admitted she was negligent, which allowed Grover to access unauthorized school district information. Whatever's going on with the homecoming thing needs to be let it be played out in court. The court system will take care of that. Tonight, I put in a call to the attorney representing both Grover and Carol. He did not want to comment on this case. Both are set to be back in court next week. Now, as I mentioned, Grover has been stripped of her crown, but a replacement was not named. The school district tells me her mom still works for the district, but at this point is still suspended. Of course, we will continue to bring you the latest on the story as it develops. Reporting live in the newsroom, Renee Beninati, Channel 3 News.